So this join process where I brought these two tables together in the layer um, it's a temporary relationship. So if I close ARC without saving anything, it'll just evaporate. So if I want to make this a permanent join so that the data is always available whenever I open up this the 2010's geography files, the, this layer, I need to actually export this layer to a new copy so that it keeps that those tables that I just joined. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to data, export data, kind of like what we did with the table. And I'm going to make sure that I specify the output location, and I'm going to put it in the same table, and so I'm going to call it um, census ACS. Actually, we just call it ACS. Sorry, should have thought of this ahead of time. ACS towns to make it simple. Okay, and it's a shape file. Make sure it's that format, otherwise it'll complain. And we're just exporting all the features, and everything else is going to stay the same. Hit OK. Do we want to add it to the layer? Yes. All right. So it looks identical, and it essentially is identical. The difference is that the table is got permanently attached to it that other information, which is exactly what we want. Okay. So the last bit, we want to be able to map this data, and we can map out the total population, total white. But what we're interested in actually is the minority population. And so we're going to calculate two numbers that we're going to want to map. The total minority population and then the percent minority. So just like we did before, we're going to add a field. So this time we're going to call it um, minority. right? And it's going to be, make it a long integer. Um, we well, actually make it short integer. They're not going to be big numbers. The difference is simply that the size, the size of the numbers that you can accommodate. Short integer is large enough. We're, we're only getting into at most in the a few thousand. Um, if we were getting to the hundreds of thousands, then we'd need a larger space. So we'll hit OK. You'll see that field is added. So then on this one, we're going to right click on it, use the field calculator, and this time we're going to do a true formula. We're going to calculate the number of minorities. So this is going to be simply a function of people who are Hispanic or not white. And essentially that can be defined by this relationship. Take the total population and subtract the white population who are not Hispanic. And that's it. And then it'll give you, oops, the one of them didn't like. That's all right. OK. So it's possible that we had one of these numbers, we got an error, had a 0 in it, didn't like subtracting 0 from 0. OK. I don't know. It looks okay to me. All right. So now we're going to take this. So we have the total number of minorities. Now we need one more field to calculate the percentage minority. So I'm going to add another field. And here I'm going to use a convention to indicate percentage that's, uh, that saves space. So I'm going to put a lowercase z and then minority. And the z, if you can kind of you know, squint at it, looks kind of like a percentage sign. You could put PCT, but I'm just trying to keep the titles very short. Now, because it's a percentage, it has to be a float form. A float means that it can handle um, decimal numbers. So I'll hit OK. All right, we get Z minority. And now, percent minority is going to be a simple formula, too. It's basically going to be the total numbers of minorities divided by the total population. And to make it a true uh, percentage, we need to make put in case the whole thing in parentheses multiply by 100 so that it's actually a percentage, right, rather than a proportion. So then we'll hit OK. And we have our percentages look nice and neat. All right, so now we're ready to go. So this is the data that we want to map. And I'm opting for percent rather than total because whenever you're comparing geographies of different sizes, and this time towns and cities of different sizes, you want to make sure that you're working with percentages because it makes them comparable. So at this point, we're ready to go into the properties of the ACS Towns layer by right-clicking and choosing Properties. And then under the Symbolization on the Properties window that's going to come up eventually. All right, Symbology tab. We're going to choose, right now it's single symbol, so they're all blue. We're going to go to Quantities. We're going to choose Graduated Colors. And we're going to choose that Z Minority field. All right, and it automatically throws down a range, which you can you can change how it does the ranges, and picks a, a random color ramp. Gray is not exactly inspiring. It doesn't really matter at this point, but whatever um, color range that you choose, I'll choose this orange, 
Um, when you're showing numbers that run from high to low, you should always pick a, a monochromatic scheme. So it shouldn't be a rainbow color. Rainbows or different colors should only be used when you're trying to show things that are categorically different. But in here, it's all the same data. It just is a range from high to low. So they should all be the same color, but maybe different uh, levels of darkness or brightness. So we'll hit OK. And there we go. So we have our percentage minority data from the ACS displayed by municipality in Massachusetts.